Hello viewers, here is, looks to be like a 42 inch model, a, oh yeah, it says it right there, size 42. This is a fan by Murray Fius, model A-42AB, A-42 inch PB, A-42 inch WH slash BR, which is probably white, polished brass. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 0.6 amps. Made in the Taiwan 897F. I got this at the Goodwill. Paid 25 beans for it, which was kind of a lot of beans, but I paid it anyways because it had two mounting brackets with it in the box, and I could always use another bracket to hang something on the cell. And I don't, ironically enough, I don't think either one of these brackets is the correct one. This one looks like it's got some age to it, so I don't know, maybe they took down multiple fans. It was donated in this box. The Harbor Breeze Centreville fan. And I kept this box to show on the video because I kind of had a good laugh at this. The uh, performance of this is quite pitiful. The performance, the airflow, 1,980 CFM. That's ridiculous. There's 36 inch fans that move more air than that. So this is a 52 inch fan and it's not even getting into 2000 CFM. What a joke. I'm sure this moves a ton more air. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. Probably move more air falling over than a fan does. These blades got some pitch to them, so I, I think this is really going to whip out some good air. Look at that. That's not bad. Normally I'm not a big fan of 42 inch fans, but no one else was going to buy this at 25 beans, so I could use it. So here it is. Now let's get it hung up. Um, Where's the screws for that thing? I took the screws out because I was in a hurry last time. Here they are. We need these washers. Yeah, I guess they'll fit in there. All right, let's get this up. The canopy we're not going to be able to secure because it's got these two holes on either side and there's no holes in this bracket. So that's not going to work. There's two screws here, which I don't think came from this VN. That bracket is much bigger than this bracket is. But this one... Um, in fact, this broke, uh, this, this piece is broke off of there. I don't know what, what that really does anyways. It probably doesn't matter. But we're going to use this bracket anyways, even though it's not the right one. So let me get you clipped on the ceiling, and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I have to say, I am really liking this Ghost Pro or Went Amateur Camera. Let's me do a lot of different video angles that I otherwise would not be able to do. And I gotta cut the power off on here. I'll turn this other light on and that should, should keep it bright enough for the video. Okay. I can't say I ever had that happen before. <laughs> I'm so glad that happened on video. That is ridiculous. Well, geez, I'm also glad that happened before I uh, hung the fan up. That would have been a disaster. Well, now I feel ripped off. Oh well. I, I just have to use this other bracket, which is too big. This looks like a Hampton Bay bracket. 
because it's got the slits in the, in the side there for the screws to go through, which is kind of cool. This bracket is too big, but we're using it because uh, no other option. Let's make sure this ain't finna breaks here. It don't seem like it. It's a little weird because I've never had that happen before. I've never even really heard of that happening. Yeah, this, this one's good. Okay. I wonder if I should be leery of this entire fan. There's something flaky about this. It's like screws on. That's weird. Just make it as tight as I can. Hope it don't fall. Jeez, why the heck is that so long? What kind of funny goof wiring were they connecting this thing to? I fold it in half and it's the right length. Oh, I ain't never seen that wire until I move out of here. No problem, I'll just get another one. I had to get another one anyways because the uh, one for the grounding is not present. is twice as long as it should be too. What the heck? What is this? I think that's green. I can't tell. Well, let's see, that's the bracket. This is, this is definitely ground. I don't know, I'm just gonna leave that one disconnected. It could be the light, or it could be a second ground. I can't tell. I'm gonna have to ask somebody else what it, what it looks like. For now, I'm just gonna not connect it, because if it's uh if it's a ground and I connect well I guess it wouldn't matter. I don't know. I'm not worried about it. I'm not using the light, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Okay, put all this back into the box.
and the canopy is not going to really be able to go up because there's no way to secure it. So, whatever. Okay, here we go. I'm going to power it on. Turn that light off and turn these lights on. It's running. Okay, so it works. So let's check the the reverse, see if that works. It does work. I'll capture that startup sound. All right, let's get these blades put onto here. Let's see what we have here. The blades are kind of out of clock. I'm going to have to fix that. I'll get that out of the frame.
a freak show always in the video it's not bad it moves pretty good air and for how far out of clock the blades are I'm surprised it's not shaking even more This definitely moves more air than whatever they replaced it with. The funny Clen Clenerville, whatever the heck it is thing. Yeah, look at them blades is way out. All right, well, it certainly works just fine. Looks nice. I'll have another video on this to come.